Hey there everyone, today we're going to do a review of, yeah, Castle Full of Cats. A Castle Full of Cats is a Catvania hidden object game where if you can find all the cursed cats in the castle, you can unleash the power of love. <laughs> That's what it said on the Steam page anyways. What a terrible night to have a curse. A castle full of abandoned cats has been cursed by an evil human being. All feline creatures in said castle have been transformed into nightmare creatures haunting and being haunted by this evil force. You play as Lily, a fierce and fearless calico cat who is from a lineage of supernatural hunters and is here to release all the cats from this inhuman curse including her beloved Fofino, who is locked in his tower. May the catnip be with you. I got my Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. First, here's how to play. Four settings. <laughs> We like the funny music. Oh, how to play. Point and hit A. You can use the ZL and ZR to zoom in and out. The joystick on the left moves the screen around. You can access a map if you get the map. I did get the map in the second level. Indicates all the hidden cats in the room. The number on the right indicates how many of them are hidden inside objects. Yet there's some cats to find in hidden objects as well. Oh, look at the cute cat. And credits. The Dev Cat. Alright, let's go inside the castle. Okay, I bought this on a whim. Because I got all sorts of platforming games and shooting games and racing games. And you know what? I thought I needed a cool puzzle game. To mess around with. And cats are, well, they're cute. And the drawings I thought was kind of fun and be a little bit tough and challenging to find them. So this first page is the exterior of the castle. And yeah, I've already found all the cats. But the cool thing, you can zoom with the ZL and ZRs and the... Joysticks kind of move you around and stuff. Be careful though when you hit that bottom V with the thing. It sets, it gets you back to to the page you were before. I'm going inside the castle to the second level, the main hall. Okay, yeah, I found every cat in this one area too. Go over here. Find place. I didn't find any cats. And we'll show you kind of how it works. The backyard. Right, so here I'm hanging out with these two black cats. And. Hi, I'm Horus, a guardian of the castle. I'm here to make sure no cats are harmed or abandoned here. Can you believe that black cats are the least adopted? How come? Anyway, this mama cat next to me is desperately looking for her kittens. They just abandoned it while I was trying to protect all the cats from the spell. I cannot leave my post. 
can you please help find the lost kids? We are concerned that some evil human will find them and do them harm. All right, I'm ready for it. <laughs> are they on the moon? Oh, there's a cat up there. What are you doing, cat? Kind of a gray and white tabby. Nino. Heading through this path, you will reach into the dungeons. I don't go there very often, but not because I'm afraid, no. They say a monster lives there, but I'm not afraid of it. I just like being here gazing at the moon. I fear nothing. Right, 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 right. Into the dungeon we go. Dungeons. All right, we got 22 regular cats to find and three hidden cats. Now, see, you can already see some. I like that the animations change when you click on them. The fun thing is, if you play with your handheld, you can actually use the touch screen. Okay, sure it's easy, but when those last couple cats are hiding, trust me, it'll take you a little bit. But it's not supposed to be a very crazy game. It's kind of for kids. It's just something to do really quick. If anything, if you could, like, if you forget to do this game in a long time, Probably start all over and do it again. Maybe they'll add more pages on the DLC someday if people make it popular. So uh, go buy this game. It's usually only like three ninety nine. Not a bad deal for something kind of artistic. Hide and go seek game with cats and a silly theme. Oh, there is a hidden cat in there. Let's see. Yeah, we see him here. Where did I go? Cat hanging from a hook. <clears throat> oh, there's a cat hiding in that box. I see you, cat. Get out. Oh, there's a cat right there. Bam, cat! Found you! Can't hide from me, you kittens. Need to get back to your mama. Oh, there's like squid tentacles coming out from this thing. And this cat's on one. to go under the shovel no you didn't yes you did behind the drape tapestry what you doing in the air vent that map um, maybe you could go from board to board with the map well that one's eating a fish out of the bucket I don't even know that's so full of cats gonna have to find them all or you in a bat get the cats from being cursed You'll heal the world when you find a mama. There's a rock. Let's 
see I got five caps to go. Damn. Hiding behind that shield. Went back up the stairs. Oh, I'm Morris again. Okay, I read that already. Find those kittens. Finding them. Okay, back to the dungeon. <clears throat> Anyways, you kind of see how this goes. It's fun. Um. Gosh, I was going to look for these last five kittens, but it might take me a bit, so... I'm going to let y'all enjoy the game on your own. You should go buy it. Cat. Cat. Acting like a bat. Turning me right side up as a cat. Rat a tat tat. It's like a Christopher Nolan. Uh, Get in cat game. Cat in the corner. Boom. And it's an Iron Maiden. <laughs> Cats, you sure you guys want to be hanging around this Iron Maiden? Okay. Well, there you go. Castle full of cats. Go buy it. It's fun. Not sure how many boards there are, but so far I've gotten a, like an hour's gameplay out of it with like five boards. It's just kind of simple and fun. KP out. The Mad Behill on YouTube.com.